This is UXO back with part three of my trailer floor rental. As you can see, yesterday I removed the rotten wood up until my kitchen cabinets. I removed all that by hand. Didn't have to use any tools. It just all pulled out. And you could probably see from the video the little holes in the waterproof membrane, as they call this. So. I'm thinking water penetrated up through the bottom. I'm not sure. The corner looks really saturated. It's still hard, luckily, so I won't have to replace that board. I'm gonna buy some uh, water wood hardener, it's called, I believe, for wet wood. You spray it on and it helps to re-solidify uh, the wood. And then on this side, I removed their patch job. And removed their patch job from there and the same I I pulled all that out by hand as well because I wanted to dry out and last night I had my dehumidifier on to help dry the, the area out again you can see clear visible holes in the waterproof membrane and this side's not as bad as the other side but I looked outside and there was a, a rip in the front corner of that waterproof membrane so Maybe the water's coming in through there. It doesn't look like it's coming in through this for sure because uh, that wood's all solid. So I'm thinking it's made its way in from the corner and just worked its way down both sides. So, uh, but today the weather is much better. So today we're going to remove the hot water tank. So of course before you do any work, especially with a gas appliance or electric appliance, shut the gas off which I have outside. I also bled the gas through the stove. I turned the burner on and ignited it and left it on until there's no more gas in the system. And then in the fuse panel we will shut the breaker off for the hot water tank which is the bottom one ensuring there's no power to the hot water tank. So it's pretty simple. Uh, I drained this system already of antifreeze. There's still a little bit in the lines. Uh, cold water valve removed and then hot water valve removed and then from the outside we'll take off the outer bracket and hopefully and remove the gas line and hopefully slide the whole hot water tank out so we'll be right back okay I'm back so I loosened them off so this should be fairly easy to remove now I'm hoping there's no water in the tank. We're gonna find out, one second. A little bit of coolant. Leave that one on for now. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Here we go. Okay, that's it. A little bit of water there or coolant, no big deal. We'll be right back when I'm on the outside. 